Welcome back friends. In this video we are going to talk about the mode switching of immunity which is one of the most important concept of immunity. So I recommend you to watch pretty clearly and pretty slowly so that you understand all this point. So it is called the immunology or mode immune response mode switching or mode switching of immune response. Okay. So what do you mean by mode switching and especially what do you mean by mode of immune response? Now immune response can be of two different types. One is the humoral, another is the cell mediated, right? Because whenever an antigen enters into your body or whenever a foreign pathogen or invader enters into your body, the, your body, your immune system can take care of that part using either of two systems. One is cell mediated immunity, another one is antibody or humoral mediated immunity. In cell mediated immunity, we are having the key players as macrophages, as T cells, B cells and other type of uh, cells to kill that, natural killer cells to take care of that. So kill them, degrade them uh, and all this thing. But if we want to do another mode, it is the humoral based on antibody antigen antibody interaction based on complement system okay so let me write it for you so there are two modes so mode uh, mode can be divided into two different one is the cellular another one is humoral now in cellular mode there are key players like macrophage one of the dangerous players then we are having t cells b cells then uh, we are having natural killer cells and so on. In humoral we are having antibody and uh, complement systems as major major players. Okay, so these are the different modes of immunity or immune response to an antigen. Okay, so now, now at the middle we are having the antigen to fight against, right? So we can do this in two different ways. Okay, now in this, uh, this is very very important that what time, in what situation we are going to choose humoral, in what situation we are going to choose the cellular. This is a very very important task for your immune system to, to, to detect and to decide that uh, this type of pathogen enters into our body. Now what we are going to do, either we are going to take humoral mode or we are going to take the cellular mode. Right? In many cases, most of the cases, in the very beginning of the response, usually there are cellular mode of response that are going to act because this humoral mode is very much specific. Whenever you get antibody, it is very, very specific, right? But for the cellular mode, it is not specific. It is non-specific. So it can go grab it and degrade it, just like that. If foreign enters, just hold them, kill them. That's the concept of cellular. But for the humoral, these are specific. But again, these are advantageous because if the specific cells are destroyed, the chances of harming itself is less. But chances of harming its own cell is greater in case of cellular mode, right? So you cannot carry on through the cellular mode throughout the infection. We need to take both of them simultaneously, both of them together. Now, how can we switch? How can we decide? How immune system decide which mode we need to take? Now, remember, this is a very important concept. If the immune system depicts or take the cellular mode of immune response, it won't take the humoral. It will shut the humoral for that time. And if it take humoral, it will shut the cellular mode of response that time. So that is very, very important. So either it will take cellular mode or it will take the humoral mode at a particular time. Now it is making a tight control and a regulation. Now what is going to be the regulation and who are controlling this regulation, right? The answer is the control of this is carried out by T helper cells. Remember, there are two types of cells, cytotoxic cells and T helper cells. T helper cells are playing this very, very vital role. So, uh, for all these processes, the major player is Th. So, either Th2 or Th1 cells. So, it are of two types, Th1 and Th2 cells. And also, what we require, we require some APC or antigen presenting cells like B cells. Like B cells in this case. Because these are the important part of B cell, sorry, uh, B cell is an important part of humoral, so B cell will be at this point, okay. So B cells is another uh, part of the section, okay. So this is uh, the key players for this switching event, okay. Now let's uh, imagine what is the process. So let's say, here it is the T, T cell, so this is the T cell, say T cell, 
TH2 cells. Now TH2 cell usually uh, detect the presence of this uh, APC or using the B cell, right? So let's say here it is the T cell and TH2. So let's say TH2 cell. Okay. Now this cell, let me write it in the top. Oh, sorry for this mistake. Anyways, here it is TH2 cells. Now it is having the nucleus and all these things inside. And let's draw, let's draw this one is the TH1 cell. Okay. So again, this is TH1. Okay. Now this TH2 usually interacts with it interacts with B cell. So let me draw here. It is the B cell, right? And this TH1 cell usually interacts with. Let's draw it macrophage right it's a macrophage cell it's a b cell it's a macrophage okay now again depending upon this type of t cell they are having different type of cluster of designation molecules or cd molecules for example for th2 it is having a particular cd molecules let's say cd4 but for th1 it is having cd8 okay those are the designations. Now, one thing I want to tell you before the further discussion is that for all of these processes, which are playing the most vital role is the chemical molecules like cytokines, chemokines, which are the chemical mediators. Because whatever we are going to see, we are going to see the crosstalk between TH2 with B, TH1 with macrophage, as well as TH2 with TH1, TH2 with macrophage. And TH1 which B cell. So all of this crisscross linkage we are going to see, crisscross relationship, cross talking we are going to see. Now all of this cross talking is possible due to the presence of this cytokines. So these cytokines like interleukins, tumor necrosis factor, interferon gamma, interferon alpha, these are very very important. So I must write these are as uh, as as also key, key players like interleukins, interleukin 2. Interleukin 4, interleukin 10, 13, and all these things. Then, obviously, a tumor necrosis factor, then interferon or IFN gamma is playing a very vital role. We are going to see. So these are the chemical mediators which are playing the key uh, features here. Now, if we are talking about first interaction between TH2 and B cell, because this TH2 or T helper 2 usually go and help the B cell to start the humoral pathway. Remember, TH2, T helpers 2, help to mediate the humoral pathway. How? This TH2, uh, when this B cell uh, engulf an uh, antigen, it will hold on to the antigen and it will uh, get this antigen, process it with MHC uh, class 2 molecules and it will hold on to the surface. So it will process it and hold on to the surface. So let's say using uh, this MHC2, it holds this antigen onto this surface. So let's say here. And this is say the antigen. So let me draw the antigen with this red color. So this is the antigen. After holding it to the TH2 cell, the recognition using TH2 cell remains, remains uh, the same. So here it is using TCR, T cell receptor is there. But this interaction is not enough. It also requires other type of uh, accessory reactions. For example, the reaction from this B cell using B7 with, uh, let's say here it is another molecule. So due to all this kind of interaction, this TH2 cell is getting activated. Now once it is getting activated, it starts to secrete some chemical mediators. And those molecules are interleukin, uh, usually the molecules are interleukin 4. So interleukin 4, so let me write, interleukin 4, 5, 10, 13. So these are the chemicals that they are going to release. So here they start to release some chemicals. These are interleukin 4, 5, 10, 13. So remember these names interleukin 4, 5, 10, 13. Usually interleukin 4 and 5, it, which are going to tell this B cell to become mature, to become proliferated. So let me erase the rest of the part. Not 13 and so let me write it. Let's say here it secretes interleukin 4 and 5. Usually this interleukin 4 and 5. Uh, is telling this B cell to be mature, right? To be mature and to propagate. So it is telling it to be get propagate, proliferate, for example. B cells start to pol proliferate and they catch this humoral mode. Okay. And obviously there is a signal between B cell and T cell uh, occurs in this simple way. There are many more interactions. I am telling you the simple ways. Now this is one part of the section. So if it happens in this way, 
the, the immune system will take the humoral mode of immune response. Now this B cell will proliferate, they will mature into plasma cells and start to secrete antibodies or immunoglobulins. Okay, and then the using complement system, using opsonization, they will kill those pathogens. This is the humoral mode. So it will give us the, remember, humoral mode of immunity. It will provide us the humoral mode of immunity. Okay. Now in second hand, what we are having, we are having Th1 cells engaging with macrophage. So again, macrophage is another, uh, what you can say, phagocytic cells and also it is a type of antigen presenting cell. So they will present antigen again. So here we go. This is the antigen presenting line for macrophage. So it will present the antigen. So let's say again it presents the antigen. And let's say this is the antigen. And using T cell receptor, this is TCR. And using another accessory receptors from both this direction, they are making the bonds and they are activated. So now the Th1 cell is getting activated. It will start to release interferon gamma. This is very, very important. This Th1 cell, after getting activated, start to release IFN gamma or interferon gamma, which is going to activate this macrophage and tell this macrophage to bring more and more macrophages in this situation because they are going to kill the pathogen that just enter into the body. And they will take, they will take cellular mode Remember, they will take cellular mode in this case. In previous case, we have seen the humoral mode using Th2 and B cell. But here we are seeing Th1 and macrophage interaction in the cellular mode. Okay. So these are the two general type of systems. But now, let's we need to regulate this system, right? So if one thing is done, one thing must be blocked or halted. How can we do this? Now remember, when this humoral mode is selected, by this Th2 cells using secretion of IL-4 and 5, it also secretes another type of molecule. And it secretes this one, which is called interleukin-10. This interleukin-10 10 is going to act on to a receptor that is present on to Th1. This is going to tell this Th1 cell to stop. So this is interleukin-10 is going, going to tell the Th1 to stop as secreting interferon gamma so that this part of the response will be halted and only the cell or immune system will follow the humoral mode because this Th1 is indicating or telling the B cell to grow and mature. It is also telling Th1 cell to stop helping macrophage. So the cellular mode is getting suppressed, humoral mode is getting upregulated. Okay, so this is the first kind. Now, this is for humoral. Now, if the cell or if the immune system wants to carry out the cellular mode of immunity, what they can do? This interferon gamma that is presented by Th1 to macrophage, this interferon again going to work on to B cell. And this interferon again want to work on Th2. This, this is going to act on the B cell. So let's say here it is a B cell. B cell is having different receptors. Now, these interferons are going to this is interferon gamma. It is going to act on B cell and it is going to tell the B cell don't proliferate. So it will block the activity of B cell so that this humoral mode of immunity is getting halted and cellular mode is getting upregulated. So here are the crosstalk between both these pathways of cellular as well as humoral mode. Okay, so these are the pathways. So in both this case, we are having halt right we are having halt these are the regions we are having indication of carrying out the process but here we are having the halt and also what we want to uh, what i am going to tell you is that when this interferon is going to tell this b cell to stop proliferating it will stop proliferate cell choose this cellular mode now this macrophage is getting activated by this interferon gamma now macrophage in turn start to secrete another type of chemical molecules it is called in, uh, interleukin 12. It is called interleukin 12. Now this interleukin 12 is going to act on Th1 cell and it will tell Th1 cell to bring upon more Th1 cells. So this is the final round of signaling. 
from this macrophage let me draw to this th1 cell to bring upon many more th1 cell and this is called interleukin 12 telling this b cell so it is again getting the right that means it is also telling this th1 cell have a positive selection to bring upon more and more th1 cell so that the cellular mode continues okay so this is in a simple way how this immune system regulates uh, uh, the transfer between humoral mode and the cellular mode of immunity okay and i hope that's helpful thank you